Hello everyone, welcome to a tutorial on how to deploy a machine learning model using Flask, Docker and Jenkins locally. So far, we have created our Flask API, packaged it with the instructions for Docker image and pushed it on our grid repository. Once the installation is complete, we create a first user. Now let's create a job. And name it Docker Jenkins Flask. Select Freestyle Project and press OK. Go down to the Git source code management and select Git. Here we are going to add the URL we have used to clone our repository. Now go down to the build section and add the two commands that will create our Docker image and run it in port 5000. Our job is now created, so let's build it. We can see all the environments are being deployed and created. Now let's make a post request with a sample input and see if our model returns a prediction. Here we need the URL to make the post request. So open another terminal. and type docker machine ip we will use this address to make the request Now let's save it and run the python file. We are getting the result, so we have successfully implemented Jenkins with Docker. Continuous integration and continuous deployment are best development practices followed by most industries today when they are developing applications. Here in this architecture, we can see developers will push their code which will trigger an event from the Git to a Jenkins server. Upon trigger, Jenkins will create the Docker image and follow the same process we have seen earlier. Since our Jenkins server is running locally, we need to expose the address in such a way that triggers can be made from our git. So start ngrok which will help us tunnel a public URL to our application. Go to the directory where you downloaded the ngrok, open a terminal and type this command. This will generate two URLs which we will use as a webhook in our git repository. Go to the settings, select webhook and paste in the address along with this word. We need to disable SSL verification for this example but you can enable it later. Now we start our Jenkins server again. We need to configure our job to communicate with the git repository.
In the build trigger section, select GitHub hook trigger for git scm polling and save it. So let's test it. We will make a change in our code and observe the process on how it is triggered in our git and redeploys our docker image from Jenkins. Add our git files, make a commit and push it in our server. We can see that the Jenkins has started creating a new image which means it started to redeploy our docker image again. So our webhook and the trigger events is working. We will again simulate our post request and see that our model is returning the result based on the change. In this tutorial, we have presented a brief CICD for machine learning model with Jenkins, Docker and Flask. We hope you find this tutorial useful while deploying your own machine learning models in production. All the links mentioned in this tutorial are available in the description below. Thank you.